It's Mike Farrell, Rivals.com at the Rivals Camp Series presented by Under Armour Quarterback Challenge here in Atlanta with 2018 Trevor Lawrence, obviously one of the biggest names in the 2018 class. We're actually coming out with our 2018 initial rankings uh, very, very soon. But, you know, you've been a five-star already. What, what do you think about that type of accolade at such a young age? I think it's pretty cool. Uh, definitely proves that hard work pays off. But uh, I don't pay too much attention to it because I still got to come out here like today and uh, do good because there's a lot of other quarterbacks out here. So you visited Tennessee recently, you said. Um, tell me what that visit was like and, and sort of since you're so far away from signing day for 2018, what, what's their pitch to you as far as I'm sure they want you to commit early like everybody does, but what's the pitch from, from Butch Jones and the guys there? Just that they need to start building around a good quarterback in 2018, which is a lot of schools, they need that too. But uh, it was a good visit. I was there last weekend. I really liked it. And what stood out about it? Was it your first time there? No, sir. I've been there probably five other, t- four other times. So what was different about this one than the others? I got to talk to Coach Jones and Coach DeBoard a lot more, and we went over some film and stuff, so it was pretty cool. And you visited Georgia and Clemson, obviously, you know, two schools uh, in good proximity. What did you take away from those recent visits? I know there were a few months ago, but anything new there? Uh, definitely at Georgia. That was my first time meeting the new coaching staff, and I really liked them a lot. And then uh, at Clemson, I've known them, but uh, I really liked it again. It's really nice. So Clemson has Deshaun Watson, so that's a pretty cool thing to sell. Uh, their offense has produced a lot of good wide receivers. Do you hear stuff like that when you talk to Clemson? Yeah, they said that they're always going to have their receivers, and that's true. So, uh, And they said they'll build their offense around me, whatever I can do. Whatever the quarterback can do is what they're going to do. Is there a preference you have in an offense? Not really. I mean, I don't want. I'm not a dual threat, obviously, but I could run the spread or pro style. Okay. So Kirby comes from Alabama. You know, he's a defensive coach, but he comes from Alabama, where um, you know they run the pro style. Georgia traditionally runs a pro style offense. Um, do you see any advantage as a quarterback in college? You know, looking at the NFL, I know that's a long way away, but do you see any advantage of working under center as opposed to shotgun? Maybe a little bit, but I still think they probably look at just if you can make all the throws and everything just as much. And if you're working on your under center stuff, then I think you'll be all right. Which quarterbacks do you follow in the NFL or in college? Anybody in particular you're looking at? Well, Peyton Man in the NFL, then in college probably um, Deshaun Watson for sure. And uh, hmm, i trying to think who else. I like Marcus Mariota a lot when he was at Oregon. Okay, so, you know, obviously, did you grow up a fan of any particular program? Being from Georgia, you said you do hear a lot of things, you know, people saying you, you got to go to Georgia, you should go to Georgia. Did you grow up a fan of any program? Tennessee, when I, that's where I was born in Tennessee. So. Okay, so the Peyton Manning thing, born in Tennessee, um, you know, recent visit there. Falls fans are a little bit crazy. Are they, I know it's early, are they in the lead group right now? They're in the lead group, yes, sir. And by crazy, I mean very rabid. Which fan base hits you up the most on Twitter? Um, they're all pretty equal, Tennessee, Clemson, and Georgia, but probably Tennessee. All right, and those three schools I mentioned, I would imagine they're in the lead group there, but what's, what school do you want to see that's maybe outside of the region? What what visit do you want to take that's far away? Um, Either probably Oklahoma or Michigan. Okay, so Oklahoma obviously doing a great job recruiting in the playoffs last year. What do you like about them? I don't really know yet. I like their coaches. I've talked to them, and I like just the way they play in their offense. Seems good, so it seems like a good fit for me. And then Harbaugh, you know, former NFL quarterback, quarterback star in college, great coach. What's your impression of him? I really like him. I talked to him on the phone a couple weeks ago when they offered me, and uh, I really like him, so hopefully I can make a trip over there. Did he have any Harbaugh-isms to pass along? I mean, you know, he's kind of a quirky guy doing a lot of different things. Did he say anything different or or, or interesting? No, not this time. (laughs) No? You're still waiting? Yes, sir. All right. Um... Trevor Lawrence got a lot of schools. It's pretty far away. When do you want to get this over with? Probably by the end of the summer, hopefully. End of of this summer? Yes, sir. All right. So uh, do you have a top five or top three? Uh, Probably I would say my top five would be Tennessee, Clemson, Georgia, um, maybe Alabama, then Oklahoma and Michigan. Okay. And put them in order for me right now. I know it's tough, but what, what's the order? I'll have an order. Right Damn, now. he didn't <laughs> fall for that. The young kids are supposed to fall for that stuff. All right, Trevor, I appreciate it very much. Thanks very much. Thank you, sir.